This breakdown is about how I created one character concept, just one image. In the video, the slow motion one in the beginning, I just used to make the intro more interesting. So the key steps would be creating a base mesh, clothing it, texturing, modeling a few props for the background, then lighting and rendering. Sorry, here I forgot to mention that I used the free trial version of Character Creator. You don't have to use that software in particular, but I just found it's easier when you have a reference point, like a 3D model that you can build your concepts around. Yep. That way it can have realistic proportions like head size and arm length, so I didn't have to worry about if the helmet fit or not uh, when put on any other human character. The characters come pre-rigged, but I prefer to rig them myself using Blender's built-in Rigify add-on. Uh, it allows for easier control during posing and animation. There are a lot of tutorials out there on how to rig your own characters, but I will do a short one just covering the key steps when using Rigify, just to speed up your posing and the basic animation workflow. I sculpted around with dynamic topology on, using mostly the clay strip brush, until I found a shape that I liked, which was basically a skull-shaped visor. Story-wise, the only way that I could find for it to make sense was to have the armor be biologically grown using the pilot's own DNA. Uh, I guess it would allow for easier body integration. And the skull shape would be an unwanted artifact, probably because the alien technology is relatively new to this human coalition. So I got the image title, uh, Colonial Pilots Wearing Alien Biotech. Then I divided the model into separate objects for the breathing mask, for the visor, and it would allow me for easier texturing later, uh, just by dragging and dropping materials onto its separate parts. For clothing, I wanted to make a skin-tight suit at first, but then I thought that combining this weird-looking alien tech with something more familiar to us would look more interesting. So I used Marvelous Designer to create a basic jumpsuit that turned into a uh, generic flight suit. Although I still think that she has her biosuit extending underneath, and this is just part of her human military uniform. Then I very roughly UV unwrapped the model and exported it as an OBJ file. I could use Blender for texturing, but it would take too much time to set up the layers for details like dirt and other materials. It would take too much time, so I used Substance Painter instead. In my opinion, I think you only need to know about two functionalities in Substance Painter to start working there. Layers and masks. Layers, like in Photoshop, allow you to stack a lot of materials and patterns on top of each other. But then, using masks, you can hide and reveal only parts of each material. Like, for example, to create dirt, you can just throw a whole layer of dirt onto your model, and by using a black mask to hide it, you can manually brush away the parts that you want the dirt to show through. Same with chipped paint, scratches, and other details that would make sense for this particular character or prop. Now that the model is textured, I needed a few props to put in the background. Uh, they'll be out of focus, so I didn't need them to be very detailed or have any detail at all, for that matter. So I quickly sculpted a plane shape, attached a few cylinders as engines and landing gear, a few duplicated cubes that we can't really see in the final render, just to sell the silhouette. So I ended up with a plane that was not good on its own, but when put in the background and almost completely out of focus, uh, you could actually recognize it as a big military plane. The truck is even more simple. It's just a few cubes extruded and duplicated in one cylinder with a couple of extrusions and insets um, with an array and mirror modifiers added to duplicate as wheels. One of the more fun parts was creating the logo in Grease Pencil. I didn't go for a clean or memorable logo design, but instead I chose something that would make sense for this particular story that I wrote down, which was a human colony forging an alliance with an alien race and them both exchanging technology with each other uh, to allow for easier interdimensional travel. Yeah. The fly represents humanity's acceptance of the insect-like aliens, and the square and circle represent traveling between different dimensions. That's not how logos usually work, but that's what they got. The other patch on the front would show the pilot's rank. I wanted to make it another insect, but it would have been too many insects, so I used simple shapes instead. For rendering, I've always loved faraway shots taken on a telephoto lens, uh, so I chose that as my main composition. 
It also fit the scene as the pilots were probably being photographed from way across the airfield. Then I thought the second pilot was needed in order to show at first glance that it is in fact a human character, although wearing weird alien tech. The lighting is just an environment texture with a free HDRI I got from HDRIHaven.com. To create atmospheric perspective in the distance, I used a cube uh, with a very low value volume shader. And I was basically done with this scene. In the end, I just created a few close-up shots just to show the way the helmet sits on the pilot's head and just a couple of variations of lighting just for fun. I made the file available for free on Gumroad, but I had to remove the female base model because I don't think Character Creator allows you to share characters this way. I had to put a price on it due to Gumroad's free file size limits, so use the code GIMME at checkout to get the file for free. Leave a like if you liked this video, dislike if you didn't. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them.